diseases of radish so now we'll see the list of important diseases in radish my name is nh shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so these are all the list of important diseases in uh, radish so the first one is alternaria blight which is caused by alternaria refancy and so refani uh, white rust which is caused by albugo candida club root which is caused by club uh, plasmodium pura brassicae fusarium wilt or yellows which is caused by fusarium oxysporum and wire stem or damping of which is caused by rhizoctonia solani downy mildew which is caused by pernospora parasitica these are all the fungal diseases and the last one is a bacterial disease scab which is caused by streptomyces scabies so now we'll see in detail about one by one so the first one is alternaria blight which is caused by alternaria refani so and in previous uh, diseases we had seen that the most prominent symptom of alternaria blight is constant triggering right so we can also see the constant triggering if you see the leaves so this was uh, not initial stage so uh, i mean in later stages what we see we can see the constant triggering constant triggering on leaves can be clearly observed that is the most important and diagnostic symptom of alternaria blight so concentric rings can be seen on leaves in some cases we can also see in petioles petioles and you know uh, flowers also can be observed so here uh, in later stages what will happen another important symptom is short hole symptom once the disease is advanced what will happen short hole symptom small holes can be seen on leaves so that was the further stage in, in advanced stages after you know concentric rings what we can see short hole symptoms can be clearly seen so initially small brown color or you know small uh, necrotic patches initially appears they what will happen the small spots coalesces and they can look like a big spots in later stages the leaf falling you know uh, leaf drop also can be observed so coming to the management aspects here you know certified and diseased free seeds can be recommended for planting make sure certified you make sure that you are borrowing the seeds from the certified and diseased free seeds i mean uh, from a, a certified areas so we can also recommend you know uh, uh, treating of uh, seeds with uh, hot water before planting also can be recommended if there is any soil i mean uh, mycelium or inoculum will be there uh, you know the hot water can kill it and then so that we can uh, uh, that that can be recommended for planting and rotate the uh, crops with the non brassica species you know continuous cultivation of brassica species can also develop inoculum so uh, we suggest we to go with the uh, crop rotation with the non brassica crops so plant should be irrigated in the morning and let it dry i mean uh, until evening so appropriate fungicides also can be recommended for this disease so coming to the next one white rust the name itself indicate white color rust pustules or patches can be seen on leaves we can see here uh, so this here the white rust is caused by albugo candida so here if you see the leaves so white color rust pustules or white color uh, uh, spots can be white color spots circular spots can be seen on leaves especially leaves mostly the white rust is especially confined to leaves only so that we can see the most uh, importantly in leaves sometimes we can also observe on flowers and as well as stems and here also we can see once the disease advanced in further stages what will happen this white color where the white color spots where the white color mycelium what can we say not mycelium white color spots where the white color spots will appears in the same areas mostly in the same areas leaf spots with short hole symptoms also can be observed as we seen in earlier you know uh, i mean uh, uh, alternate spots in the meanwhile and in, in the same time we can also see here the, uh, you know short hole symptoms in here the small spots initially coalesces and then uh, necrotic spots when appear in the leaf dropping also can be observed here so here the coming to the management aspects uh, uh, certified and you know uh, diseased free seeds can be recommended irrigation at morning and it let it dry at evening and crop rotation with non brassica species also uh, recommended so coming to the club root which is caused by plasmodium pura brassicae the name itself indicates club root the roots are convert into club like structures so here we can see the distortion of uh, roots or you know extensive gall formation of roots and wilting of leaves can also be observed in the upper stages i mean uh, sorry uh, in above ground pots we can see the wilting of plants yellowing of leaves can be seen and if you see the above below ground pots initially you know i mean not initially I mean, if you see the below ground pots we can see this uh, swollen extensive gall formation or distorts i mean distorted roots and simply we can see gall formation uh, due to the production of uh, you know growth hormones 
how coming to the management aspects so the best management fact uh, i mean aspects for this uh, club route is application of uh, you know a lime at the rate of 2500 kilograms per hectare can be recommended so once we apply this uh, lime we can reduce the i mean uh, i mean we can reduce the fungal sporulation so this club root can be severe at uh, 5.2 so once we can raise the soil ph by application of lime to 7.2 Uh, around above 7 or, or, or i can say it is 7.5 or 7.8 if we raise up to that what will happen the fungal uh, spores or you know sporulation can be reduced so that we can automatically control the disease crop rot rotation also can be recommended so i think uh, crop rotation won't be give uh, a great results because once uh, once the existence of uh, uh, you know plus i mean uh, as uh, uh, soil spores were there in the soil so it can uh, sustain for so many years so elimination of the pathogen is economically uh, you know uh, it, it seems to be impossible you know once even though in crop rotation once the pathogen is established so application of lime uh, soil i mean uh, i mean sorry lime can reduce the soil spore relation if we apply a soil uh, according to our requirement so that we can automatically down the soil uh, a uh, spores so that we can in for uh, in in future maybe in 5 or 10 years we can completely control the uh, the disease so coming to the fusarium wilt otherwise called as yellow which is caused by fusarium oxysporum so here we can see the wilting it, uh, we can clearly see wilting in the sense so wilting of leaves can be seen here uh, along with the wilting of leaves uh, the plants also can i mean turned into yellow in color what will happen slowly starts to defoliate or falling of leaves can be seen so this will be converted into like this coming to the management aspects so that can be effectively controlled by the resistant varieties and we can also uh, go with you know uh, application of uh, uh, fungicides and sanitization also one of the very very important when equipments can be sanitized because there's soil borne pathogen right so it can't able to uh, spread through you know uh, 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 air or something like that so uh, using of uh, uh, properly sanitized equipments for intercultural operations or whatever it is so that can be that uh, we can manage the disease to a certain extent So coming to the next one, wire stem or damping, which is caused by Rhizoctonia solani. So the name itself indicates a wire stem. So here the stem or the roots are look like the wire or griggling stem or griggling like appearance can be seen here. Here the wire is twisted. We can see here wire is twisted. Wire in the sense, you know what when we, what we can call. uh you know uh, uh roots um as yes, roots and the initially some stem portion also we can also see some stem portion also get you know uh, very lean and you know uh, constricted or twisted like uh, appearance can be seen we can also see black color spots or dark color spots can be on, uh, on tubers also which is caused by rhizoctonia solani so the coming to the management aspects are disease free uh, in mean, pathogen free uh, materials can be required for uh, 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 for transplanting and uh, uh, sterilization of soil as soil sanitation also one of the management practice so applying the fungicides uh, seed treatment fungicides can can fill fungi if there is any uh, soil borne you know clovis will be there and you know uh, i mean soil solarization also one of the management practice if it seems to be so downy mildew which is caused by pernospora parasitica so the name itself indicates a downy so white color downy growth can be seen on upper surface of leaves and you know uh, orange to yellow color patches also can be seen here right so orange some you know uh, you know rusty like uh, appearance can be seen but it's not rust okay so downy growth downy growth can be seen yellowing of leaves orange to yellowing of leaves so fluffy growth can be seen and you know uh, you know uh, leaf can be uh, Uh, cut it to some uh, i mean uh, how can i explain this you know uh, leaf is can't fully developed right and they, it's, it look like to someone is scissored right so it look like some uh, someone is got scissored something like that we can uh, uh, we can observe here coming to the management aspects remove all crop debris and crop rotation with the uh, uh, non brassica crops will be uh, recommended and application of uh, appropriate fungicides also one of the management practice here So coming to the last one, scab, which is a bacterial disease, which is caused by Streptomyces scabies. So we here we can clearly see uh, initially small spots on appears. The small spots coalesces and look very big spots. Cracked lesions or rough corky surface can be clearly seen once we touch the fruit. I mean once we touch this uh, tuber, a corky surface or you know uh, a cracked uh, uh, sunken surface can be that uh, that we can skin uh, feel that. so coming to the management aspects uh, it is very difficult to control uh, scab crop rotation uh, uh, you know crop rotation one of the management practices and uh, avoid increasing of uh, soil ph and uh, application of the uh, 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 you know uh, soil organic amendments also one of the management practices